family. Back at it again. Different video, same day. So today I'm gonna be telling you guys five things I hate about my Dodge and my Dino. First and foremost, the one thing I truly do hate, I'm not gonna say truly hate, but I really do despise this game. That's kind of worse. One thing I just like about this car. Come here. You can hear it real quick. It's such a love and hate relationship with these Brimbos. I hate these Brimbos, but I love them so much. I love them because they stop on a dime, they keep me safe, they keep me protected, and they do what they're supposed to do. Now I hate them because they squeak like crazy, like my brakes. It sounds like the biggest train is coming down the block every time I stop, and you're gonna hear me breaking no matter what. Like it's the biggest thing, but no matter how far or how fast I'm going, I'm still gonna, you're still gonna hear it regardless. No matter what slow with the fact you hear me. This kind of goes along with the same thing. I'm not going to really make this number two. But the second thing I hate about this car is these brake dust. Once again, it's a love and hate relationship. This car with brakes. Every day, the brake dust comes and goes. Like, I literally just watched this wheels prior, like, a time, like, two days ago. And now, like, they're all brake dust and dust and everything like that. And it just seems like it's never going to end. It's a love and hate relationship with these brakes. That's the first thing I hate about this car. The second thing I hate about this car game I believe for a high-end model make a car like this that you're paying 65,000 plus for you need some automatic seats to push back you know what I mean like all right cool yes I could push it forward and back from that standpoint but now when it comes to adjusting the back lumbar of this car seat bro I'm not trying to do no manual move like I'm not trying to sit here and just back it up like this like you can't get that perfect spot like you gotta have that automatic move so you really can find that perfect niche so that's my second thing I hate about this car. Once again, these are all just like minor things I'm really stretching to find to hate about this car. But it's something that just bothers me. The third thing I dislike about this vehicle is the Harman Kardon sound system. I'm probably the first need to say this, but I don't really care for this Harman Kardon sound system. It sounds weak to me. I believe Bose had the way, has a way better sound system in my opinion, but I don't hate it. Once again, it's just like, I just don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. I think it could be better. I think it could be way more solid, but nonetheless, it still gets the job done. It sounds good for what it is, so I can't complain. I think I'm just being bougie and spoiled from the standpoint where I had a good sound car system already before from this factory. And these to the, from the factory do not sound as good as before. What was that? That was three. So let's go ahead and see number four. The fourth thing I hate about this car, I mean, it's pretty obvious and evident that I was probably not going to like this, but it's obviously something I already knew going into this, buying this car. So obviously, it's not something I can really hate or like. But it's clear as day to gas mileage and just the consistency of me having to put gas in this car. So come take a look. I'll take the camera real quick. Thank you. Let's look. You see I'm damn near full. I only have 145 miles to the tank. That to me is just absurd. Now let's go ahead and see where I can find the gas mileage real quick to really talk about like the idea of how sick this gas is. Golly, trip and full fuel economy, boom, right? So my range on average is not seeing it right now. It sucks to be me. All right, cool. So on average, I average 11.1 .1 miles per gallon. That's just in the street. I'm not going to lie. When on the highway, this car does a decent job of saving gas. I don't really put this car in eco mode. So obviously, if I put it in eco, then those range miles right there at the top could definitely vary. And they could definitely increase depending on how I drive. This car obviously goes based upon how you operate the motor vehicle. So uh, once again, this is one thing I don't hate anything about this car. This is merely just a simple, strong dislike. That if I wish could change a certain, if I could change a certain thing about this car, then that would be it. This is a fuel economy. Once again, what could you expect when you have a V8 supercharged Hemi? You're not gonna, obviously, just ain't no Prius. You ain't gonna expect to save gas. So I ain't really tripping off that for real. But that's just one thing I hate about this car as well. So now from a fifth standpoint of something I hate about this car, it's really a stretch. I don't really know, but I'm gonna just stretch it out and try to find something else I hate about this car because I love this vehicle. Three days later. Okay, it looks like you guys are beating on beat because I really can't force it right now. Say so yeah, I have five things I hate about this car. I love this car, it's absolutely amazing. This is the best purchase I could have made in my life as of right now. So yeah, instead of doing five things, I'm gonna say I only have four things I hate about this car. If I do find anything else to nitpick about, then I'll put you guys on, but as of right now, I love this car. So as always, thank you for tuning in. Please comment, subscribe, like, share, do whatever you wanna do. Critique, hate, love it.
don't really matter. Just watch the video. Put some put somebody else onto it. But like um like I said, appreciate anybody that did watch this video. Appreciate you always. So make sure you want to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Fubam!